quiz time! It's possible to plagiarize giving an oral presentation. Possible to plagiarize when you're giving an oral presentation. Just like when you're writing an academic paper, an academic presentation usually has components that you're sharing that you didn't write. It's really important to cite your sources because number one, you didn't come up with it, so you need to give credit to the people who did. E equals MC squared. I wrote that. And number two, your audience might want to research it themselves. So they need to be able to write down the name of the website or the person who wrote the idea you're sharing so they can figure out more on their own. So here are some do's and don'ts for citing sources in your oral presentation. Do. Give credit where credit is due. If there's facts or research that you didn't uncover yourself, or a theory that you didn't think of, or an experience that isn't yours, you need to share the source. A website from the University of Southern Mississippi says that, do say the name and the date of either the person that wrote it or the website you found it on. Don't. Don't say according to every time you say the name of a website or an author. According to Dr. Winters in 2016, 78% of students had a 79. According to Dr. Winters in, in 2016, uh, according to Dr. Winters, there's no real reason for this except it's boring. Don't cite the research that you've done. Usually a college presentation is based on research and experiments that you've done and you, you don't have to give yourself credit for that. You're giving the presentation. They know you thought of it. Do. Do cite sources in your PowerPoint or any other multimedia experience you give your audience. If you're using pictures, quotes, or facts and figures that you didn't discover yourself, you need to give the source just like this example. And it's according to MLA format. So check and see if your class is APA, MLA, Chicago, or any other type of citation. It's also a good idea to give a reference page at the end of your presentation so your listeners can write down the names of the sources you used in case they want to do further research on their own. Don't cite general information, meaning don't cite things everyone should know if they listened in school. So you don't have to cite humans have 10 fingers and 10 toes. America began in 1770s. Columbus sailed the ocean blue in 1492. Washington DC is the capital of America. London's the capital of England. Frankfurt's the capital of Kentucky. You don't have to cite those things. Academics is all about sharing ideas and we need to make sure that we give credit for ideas that we didn't come up with. So, follow these do's and don'ts in your presentation and you're sure to have a great one. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. To see Miss Casey's explanation of President's Day in America, click over here. If you want to subscribe to this channel to get more information on ESLI, English language use, and life in a university in America, click the subscribe button. If you're interested in coming to our school, click in the information bar to find an application. Thanks for watching and see you later.